Coming up on Mountain News this morning, one community is grieving the loss of a beloved member of their police force. And we are learning more about the suspect accused of causing the officer's death following a court hearing Monday. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning to you. It is Tuesday and it's November 1st. I'm Dakota Makris. Good morning. It's almost 5 o'clock. Let's head over to Brandon Robinson for a look at our forecast. And Brandon, it's comfortable outside. It's not too bad yeah. out there. A little cooler than yesterday yeah. morning, but still overall not too bad, especially for the first day of November, right. if you can believe that. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on with our forecast this morning. And we continue to see again a little bit of shower activity trying to get going on the satellite radar. Kind of similar to yesterday, but not in the way of scope like we had yesterday. We had some heavy rainfall and just some light showers out there potentially this morning. Live pinpoint Doppler radar. Hazard south basically is where we're seeing those at this morning. Maybe some drizzle in some of those northern counties, but nothing close to yesterday. Temperatures similar, but a little cooler in spots. Clintwood is our cool spot at 51. A lot of folks mid to upper 50s, close to 60. 61 in Jacksboro is our warm spot this morning. And again, basically 55 to 59 out there to start it out. So normal day on the coffee meter. I'm even going to put a little extra because it's not Monday anymore. It's Monday 2.0. But we're going to continue to see a nice trend into the new month. Overcast skies early. Temperatures back into the mid-60s today. And I think we could see, just like yesterday, a few uh, speak, speaks, specks of sunshine as we head deeper into the afternoon. I'll figure it out here in a little bit. Dakota. All right, Brennan, thank you. Hundreds gathered last night to honor the life of a fallen London police officer. Logan Medlock was killed Sunday morning after police say his cruiser was hit by a drunk driver. Chad Hedrick was at the vigil and brings us the emotional outpouring of support for Medlock's family and this community. Hundreds packed the local farmers market stand to pay their respects to Officer Medlock's family and fellow officers. The 26 year old had been with the department since August 2019. His dad is Assistant Police Chief Randy Medlock. Police Chief Travis Dotson talked tonight about a new duty the department now has. Our duty now is to make sure that this young man never forgets who his father really, really is. And we'll be, our job is to make sure this, that Logan's legacy goes on and on past my time, past our new officer's time. His friend, Officer James Williams, says Officer Medlock was motivated and dedicated to protecting the public, saying he always dreamed of being a police officer just like his dad. I pray here that nobody has to lose a child. It's the hardest thing I can ever do, go through. And for one that's had lost children, I know what you went through. I know what you're going through. I know where my son's at tonight. He's with the Lord and he's having a good time. Well, Medlock's funeral will begin at noon on Friday at Corinth Baptist Church in London. The visitation is Thursday night at the church beginning at 5 p.m. The service will be live streamed and can be seen on the Bowling Funeral Home Facebook page. Ariel will follow the funeral at Roark Cemetery in Kiwi. The man accused of killing Officer Medlock made his first appearance in court on Monday. Casey Bird of Oneida, Tennessee, is charged with murder of a police officer and DUI. Investigators say his blood alcohol was more than three times the legal limit at the time of the crash, just before 1 o'clock Sunday morning. Bird told police he had just left a friend's house and admitted he should have stayed there. During the court hearing, a not guilty plea was entered on his behalf. A judge set his bond at $1 million. We have also learned Bird had been arrested in a separate incident last month in Knox County, Tennessee. Officials with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation say Bird was arrested on September 30th on a charge of public intoxication. According to the Federal Bureau of Prisons, Bird is currently employed as a senior officer specialist at the United States Penitentiary McCreary, a federal prison in McCreary County. Bird will be back in court next Tuesday. In other news, one man on the run for, uh, for felony theft was arrested in Laurel County. Kevin Hill was arrested for falsely reporting a missing person. Deputies say after investigating, they found that, on, not, that not only did Hill allegedly report a missing person, but he had warrants out for his arrest in Ohio. He was taken to the Laurel County Correctional Center.
Multiple people are recovering following a crash in southern Kentucky involving an ambulance and a cow. It happened around 2 a.m. Monday on East Highway 90 in Wayne County near Cumberland Green. Officials with the Monticello Fire Department say three cars were involved. One of the vehicles hit a cow on the road and caused the ambulance to hit another car head on. Crews rushed multiple people to the hospital. At least one of them was from the ambulance. No word on any of their current conditions. Well, the Broadhead Fire Department was called out to assist the Mount Vernon Fire Department yesterday morning to help rescue a person who had fallen off a bridge. Officials with the fire department posted on Facebook that the person fell off the bridge on Kentucky 461 at US 150. We were told the person had previously been in a car crash. Rescuers carried the victim a short distance and were able to use a rope pull system to pull them up an embankment. The person was taken to a hospital for treatment. Well, thank you so much for getting your November 1st started with us here on, on Mount News this morning. Still on the way, while Halloween might be in our rearview mirror, one space organization has captured an interesting view of a certain bright celestial object. And we could see some dreary, uh, dreary conditions as we enter the 11th month of the year. I'll have more than we can expect for the first few days of November in about three minutes.